All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day. My name is Larry Rosen from the Ajax Public Library. And uh, I am here with uh, Georgina. Say hello. <laughs> Hi everyone. I am uh, Georgina from the Ajax Public Library and I work in collections. And we are going to um, give you a little demonstration about some of the online things that you can do at the Ajax Public Library. And we're so glad that you're with us today. And as we go, um, please feel free to either put some questions in the chat um, or just uh, interrupt me and say, I, gotta, I don't understand, I got a question. Yeah, and be happy to, to tell you what it's all about. Today, we're going to we have two topics. We're going to talk about, uh, uh, and these are fun topics. These are these are hoopla and canopy. These are TV, watching TV and watching movies. And who doesn't love to do that? And there's different ways that we do it now instead of going to the theater. And Ajax Public Library makes it so easy to do that. And I'm going to show you, we are going to show you how easy it is to do that. Okay, again, this is being recorded. Keep your camera on or off, um, depending on what you would like to do. We would love to see you and chat with you um, throughout. It's totally up to you. And you can always participate through the audio or the chat. Okay, Julia is not with us this time, but hopefully she will be at the next one. And. Um, here we go. So just a quick, um, just take a quick glance at this, please. It's just um, a reminder that we just want everyone to uh, have fun, be respectful and um, and uh, yeah, just, uh, okay. All right. So for those who may not have joined us before, we have, we have three branches, right? We have the main branch. We've got the McLean branch. We've got the Audley branch, right? No more, right? <laughs> Is there a fourth location? Better believe it. There uh -huh. is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, that's our fourth location. It's the easiest to access, ajaxlibrary.ca, and that's what we're talking about today. And um, what do you need in order to use these online services? Uh, you need e a physical library card or a virtual e-card. We'll, um, that's all you need, and it's free. And in order to get one, an e-card, all you have to do is go to our website at ajaxlibrary.ca and just click where it says uh, virtual branch, uh, get an e-card. For those who don't have it already. All right, let's get down to this. So, oh, I just see, uh, just double checking the chat. Uh, oh uh, yeah, thanks for monitoring that, uh, the chat there. <laughs> you know, uh, how can I watch movies, TV shows or documentaries? Well, the answer is Hoopla and Canopy. Um, these are amazing websites connected with the Ajax Public Library. You don't need Netflix. You, when, when you see what, what is offered here, there's some really good material. If you're accessing Hoopla and Canopy from our website, it's as simple as going to ajaxlibrary.ca and uh, clicking on the movies and more tab. Um, there we go. Yeah, that one right there, movies and more. And that um, brings us to Hoopla and Canopy. You can choose either one. Now, if you want to, um, they kind of, they're kind of similar. You can watch movies um, on Hoopla or Canopy. And you can um, have enjoy TV shows 
on Hoopla and Canopy. And uh, Hoopla also has uh, music. Why not? Um, there are borrowing limits uh, for each, and I will tell you what they are. Um, so Hoopla, let's start with Hoopla. Hoopla is a, a web and mobile library media streaming platform from the Ajax Public Library, and it's got audiobooks, comic books, ebooks, movies, music, and TV. That's, that's enough to keep us going for a while, I think. Um, most movies and TV shows are available for three days uh, from the time that you borrow the title, 72 hours. Um, there are a few publishers who, who make it less, but generally I think it's three days. And uh, most music is available for seven days from the time that you borrow the title. You can play it as many times as you want in that time period. And audiobooks, comics, and ebooks are available for 21 days from the time that you borrow the title. Uh, and you can borrow up to 15 titles per month. So what do you think? Is that enough? 15 titles? That's like one every two yeah. days. We could watch a movie once every two days. It's pretty good for free. And Hoopla and Canopy also have 15 day um, limits. So between Hoopla and Canopy, you could do one each day. I think it's a pretty good uh, deal. What do you think, Georgina? Yeah. Okay, so in order to get um, Hoopla, um, and I'm just gonna demonstrate this and then I'm gonna take a break and then let you have a chance to do this yourself. Okay. Um, it's, it's similar with, um, I'm going to show you on the um, using a device, what it will look like on a device. Um, you, all you have to do is go to the, um, on your device, you go to the App Store. Uh, if you're Apple, if you're Android, they call it the uh, Play Store. Do they still call it the Play Store? Yeah, Play Store. Yeah, Play Store. Thank you. You go to Play Store. And uh, what you'll do is you'll search. You'll do a search for Hoopla uh, right there. Um, and then uh, you'll download it. And you'll see it right here. Um, and the next thing you will do is you will um, sign up if it's your first time. If you don't have an account, uh, you'll sign up. And the reason you want to do that is so it can remember what you've taken out, what you it can keep track of things that you, you want, uh, that you've watched, um, and recommend things that you might like. And once you um, have downloaded it and got your account, this is this on the left is what it's going to look like. It's just a, a, a page showing what is possible, what you can, what you can download. Um, there's five choices at the bottom. Okay, so if you tap on the first one, My Hoopla, it's going to show you something that looks like this page on the right here. And uh, you can browse video, you can browse music, browse books. Or you can just scroll, oops, you can just scroll uh, and see um, these items here I've recently returned. Maybe I want to borrow them again. And then if you click on the, the next one down here on the left, which is uh, video, this will just list all of the videos so you don't have to like scroll through all of the audio and all of the music, you just want video. <laughs> Popular recommended features, movies or television. 
all in one place. It's kind of nice. If you click on music, all at your fingertips. And then you have the choice of um, eBooks, popular, recommended, and featured. Um, you got eBooks, sorry, you've got audiobooks and eBooks and comic books. My preference is audiobooks. Um, again, similar to you, it lets me do other things while I'm listening. I kind of like that. Um, um, Larry. Yes, yes. Storage, storage interrupt. We've just had a request. Is the presentation full screen at the moment? It is full screen. Uh, you can make it full screen if, if you want. Uh, it's full screen as far as we are concerned, but maybe on your, are you using a, a computer where Zoom, Zoom is full screen. Is your Zoom full screen? Um, because if it's not, you won't be able to see everything. Um, if, if you see at the top right corner of your Zoom, um, see if it's full screen or not. You can also minimize Zoom. Depending on if you're using um, a regular computer, you can minimize it. And if you, if you minimize Zoom, then you can um, do uh, different things while Zoom is happening. But as far as I can tell here, we are, it, it's not, um, it is full screen, yeah. Uh, but you have to have it full screen on your side too. Are you not able to see something or is my sharing okay as far as? I think the request was just like the actual like PowerPoint could be larger, but that oh. might just be maximizing, like going okay. into full presentation mode. Right. Um, um, let's see. Mm, this, is, this is as big as it gets. <laughs> Um, but I will, when I log in to the actual Hoopla, I think you'll see it, it gets bigger. Um, another option is if you look at view in your top uh, right hand corner, um, if you want, if depending on what view you're in, if you set it to standard as well, that should make the screen larger and the people, whoever you can see on the side smaller as well, if it looks a little bit small. Right, absolutely. Um, and the final choice you have at the bottom here is search. And just move this out of the way. You can search by title, you can search by artist and see what's trending in the searches as well. Quick question. Yes. Um, with respect to um, signing, signing up or signing in for Hoopla. Yes. Is it? Um, um, do you have to use the same email that you used uh, signing up for the library per se? No. Like no, when you that's... signed up, when you signed up for your library account, do you have to use the same email? You can use your e well. It's your email address that you would use, but- Yeah, no, I know, but I, I have a couple. So I'm just curious whether you have to use the same email you use to sign up for the uh, free library site. No. Okay. Uh, but I would okay, recommend, I would recommend not using the same password. Um, oh, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> people like to do that and it's, uh, mm -hmm. it's not a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. I guess yeah, it's, no. okay. I guess Thank it's you. not that when, when it comes to libraries, it's, I guess comparing library to a bank, you don't want um, you don't want a yeah. um, a pass the same password for all of your because if they have the, your library password, they can get to your bank. You know what I mean? So it's just yes. it's just yes. good to have yeah. um, different passwords. But yes, you can use the same email address. Okay, no, I was just I was just curious because I was sitting here thinking about it's like oh, what did I use for? So I was just trying to think. So I, I may not 
although I've downloaded Hoopla, I mean, you know, I haven't, um, I haven't uh, made an account yet. So okay. I don't know if I'm going to do that today, but I just wanted to know because I got to think about it sometimes, right? So right, I just want to yeah. know whether. I, so. Okay, there, but I'll do it later. Okay, what do you think, Georgina? Should we take a few minutes and actually do this ourselves? And, mm -hmm. um, does it, does everybody or anybody have it on their device yet, or would, or are you downloading it now? Well, like I said, I just downloaded it, but I haven't. Uh, okay, I'm take a sure few I'm minutes to go through the steps of. Take a few minutes to download it, and um, okay. I will. Uh, Remember, it's the Play Store if it's Google, okay, all right. then or it's the Apple Store, um, and you'll search for Hoopla, H-O-O-P-L-A, mm -hmm. and try to put it on your device. And when you put it on your device, it will look like, and I'm just going to show you what my device looks like. Okay, my screen mirroring. Sorry for the delay. Okay, it's not going to let me show you what is on the device, but I can show you from here. It was just, if you're looking, the app store, yeah, just search there in your, in your store for Hoopla. And the first time it says, don't have an account, just sign up. And I think Georgina may have a, an activity or two just to see yeah. everyone's. Uh... I do. Um, just to check in with everyone, uh, I have it up on my phone too. So we've got Apple and we've got Android represented. Um, does everyone have access to it on either a smart device or on your browser? because I just have some little activities to get us used to using the interface. So if you don't have it on your uh, smart device yet, you can also access it on browser, but I just thought I would check in and see where everybody is at. I'm just trying to create an account, I suppose. Oh, take your time, take your time. Canopy and Hoopla are a bit different from some of our other platforms um, where in, uh, with other platforms, you might be prompted just to enter your library card and PIN. Um, but when you go through the process of installing Hoopla or Canopy, which Larry will talk about a little bit later, you're actually prompted to make an email and password account. It's still connected to uh, Ajax Library and your library card. But when you go to log in, you will use that email and that password each time. Mm -hmm. So definitely take a moment, just follow the prompts to add, uh, to create a password and uh, to attach an email. Oh, let me get the link for you, BB. If for those who might be doing it on their computer, they would need to go to hoopladigital.com. Is anyone using their computer and not a device? No, that's too complicated to, t to try to do Zoom and uh, mm -hmm. uh, another website at the same time. Yeah. Can do, but. Yep. I mean, for me, that's more. I'm going to put a uh, link in the chat for you, BB. This takes you to the Ajax Library Digital Collections page, and there you'll see Hoopla, which you can click on. And uh, if you have your account, you can log in or you can set up your account. I'm just 
going to get my other device and see if that uh, works. Be right there. And if you want to put in the chat where you are uh, with it, Roland, you could feel free to let us know. And when everyone's ready to do some search around activities, we can do them together just to explore using the app and using it in browser. So BB will be on browser. Phyllis, you're going to be on a, a smart device? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, and Roland, uh, if you wanna put it in the chat, what will you be using, a, a smart device or um, a, uh, a, a browser computer? Okay, perfect. So the interfaces will look a little bit different. So when we do the activities, I can go through both. Um, has everyone been able to attach an account? Oh, great. Thank you, Roland. Thank you. What did you tell me last time about the uh, password for your library card? So, um, like your, your, your library pin, your library card password? Um, yeah, that, yeah, that was, yeah. Standard, usually your pin is the last four digits of your phone number. Thank you. just makes it easier to remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me get this all set up too. All right, I'm just going to start sharing my screen to give you an idea of um, the little activities. And as you go through them, you can feel free to let us know what you're looking at in the chat, or if there's a question that has like a numeric answer to it, you can just let us know. Um, so we will do some activities for Hoopla. Let me make this nice and big for everybody. Um, I might jump away from the screen so that I can help everybody because I know the interface will look a bit different on your phone versus if you're on a computer. And let me make sure I have the chat open so I can see any questions. So uh, the first little activity, if you are on Hoopla, if you are on your phone, you will see when you get into the app right at the top, you have these blue tabs here. Um, if you want to choose a format to browse by, can you then search in that format by genre and collections and explore a genre collection that interests you? This looks a little bit different if you're on the computer. Oh, great to hear. Great to hear, Roland. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. Awesome. And if you are on your computer, it will look a little bit different than if you are on an app. Maybe I can give you a hint of where you can get started. I'll just jump away from the screen for a second and show you this instead. If you are on your computer, you might notice at the top, there's a little browse that gives you all the different formats that you might be wanting to work in. If you wanna go there and then select one, from there you can find how within that format, you can browse by genre and collections. So I'm curious to know what format everyone thinks they wanna go for. I think I'll go into television. And it looks, it'll look a little different for you, Phyllis. You're just sliding your finger along the little blue tabs until you can find whichever format interests you.
Has everyone chosen a format to browse through? I'm on television. So if I'm on my computer, if I scroll down a little bit, and this is the same if you were on a phone, you would just scroll with your thumb a little bit. Oh, excellent. Nice choice, BB. Um, you'll notice this big blue button that says genres and collections. And if I click on that, uh, first I will be, you'll see these little tabs at the top. Right now I'm in collections. So I can see all the relevant collections connected to our uh, our television holdings. But I could also, if I wanted to, jump over a tab to genres if I want to simplify my search by a genre that I'm interested in. So I'm in television. I really want to watch uh, a comedy show. I'm going to click on comedy. It will load for me, and then it will eventually show me what comedy shows are available to borrow on Hoopla. Oh, Roland, amazing choice. I That's actually going to be one of our activities, and I will talk about this feature a little bit. Oh, uh, very good, yeah. The Great Courses Binge Pass. You're actually, you're jumping to the next activity <laughs> question, which is how many binge passes are available on Hoopla? Can someone tell me how many uh, are available on Hoopla? If I go to browse, it might be one of the options to select. But also, if you're still, oh, great question, BB. I, I'm going to answer that. And also, if you're still browsing around, don't feel like you have to rush on to the next thing. But uh, the next activity question is how many binge passes are offered on Hoopla? And the great thing about uh, having different devices is if you're not near your device, but you're near a computer, you log in to hoopladigital.com, you can search movies there and not necessarily have to watch them at that time, but you can at least see what's available. Mm -hmm. And while we're browsing and while we're finding the answer of how many... Pardon, Phyllis? Hold up a second. I, yeah, I'm having a problem um, finishing this account business. I'm now looking at my library card number mm -hmm. and I've seen my pin because I haven't changed the pin from what you told me. And it's telling me, sorry, it appears that something is wrong with your library card or PIN. I've double checked because I'm holding my card in my hand now. Mm -hmm. And I'm still having an issue. What's going on? Um, so it's telling you there's an issue with the library card credentials? Well, the message I get at the bottom of my screen says, sorry, it appears that something is wrong with your library card or PIN. Please double check your info. And if you still have issues, contact your local library for support. So okay. I'm just coming back on screen. I'll show you that I'm looking at my library card. Mm -hmm. I punched it in. Mm -hmm. I have not changed my pin from what you told me. Yeah. With the uh, pin number. Mm -hmm. so I've got my card right here. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, like, I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm double checking. I've got the right numbers punched in. Okay. And you've never, you've never had your phone number change at any point. Like you've no. never, mm -mm. never had no. an old phone. Okay. No. I didn't I have will... an issue last time we did this. But I'm, like I said, I'm just double checking one more time. Yeah, no, it's the right number and it's the right pin. Because as I say, I haven't changed my pin from what you, pardon me, what you told me. Mm -hmm. I didn't have an issue last time around, but it's giving me this uh, error message. Hmm. Hmm. I I will look into this on the on the back end for you, Phyllis, because I'm not sure okay. why it's giving you that message yeah. if um yeah, and no just for my knowledge did you use uh i wasn't aware that you had to but did you use the same email that you have um which email did you use when you signed that's up that's why i was asking about that's why i was asking about um about whether i had to use the same one because at the moment i couldn't remember which uh account i used for my library card oh i'm gonna that's what I, was asking, I will i will use the same one I will message you what I have on file for that, and then um, perfect. Because I, I, I keep my notes. Yeah. I keep my notes on my uh, iPad Mini, and I'm looking through my notes. And I wasn't smart enough apparently to put that particular information on my 
in my notes on my mini because I keep a spot on my mini for all this kind of information when I make new accounts kind of thing. And um, I sadly, I wasn't smart enough to put it in there. Phyllis, I'm, if, are you able to look at messages in the chat? Yeah. On, okay, I'm going to yeah. send you a direct yeah. message. If you could confirm if this Thank is you. your library card number, just I, I'll put it yeah. direct. But um, Thank you. And in the meantime, uh, to answer your question, BB, about what a binge pass is, a binge pass is a special pass on Hoopla that you can check out, and then it'll give you access to a large amount of holdings uh, based on the collection that you can then check out as you can watch and view as many as you want. So for example, um, the Great Courses Binge Pass, which is a personal favorite of mine, gives you access to a ton of different Great Courses videos, which you can then watch without using, remember how you have the 15 limit checkout total, with the binge pass, you check it out, you do one checkout and you have seven days and unlimited access to whatever is contained within the binge pass. So if everyone was able to navigate to where we keep our binge passes, you'll notice that we have one for the great courses, which is an excellent series. We have one for curiosity stream and one for magazines. I've revealed the answer. We have three binge passes currently. Um, but when you check one of these out, it basically gives you access to a lot of different resources within that library without having to use up your checkouts. Um, so the next activity I have for everybody is um, if you can favorite a title and review the title you favorite on your Hoopla. So what favoriting does, it's a little bit it's a little different than borrowing. Favoriting is almost like adding something to your wish list. So you might notice if you're on your browser, when you look at things, there's the option to put a little heart on whatever title you're looking at. So I'm wondering if people can find something that they're interested in and give it a little heart to add it to your sort of watch list or your favorites list. And Phyllis, I will just respond to you here. I we I'm going back to the front to uh, recreate an email account. Um, Maybe I didn't then. No, no, no. I'm gonna. I'll. No. Here we go. Um, Has expired. Why would it expire? Just to be safe, I can do a renew. I can I can renew it for you, but okay. I, it just okay. um, yeah. I didn't know they expired. Um, they do. Usually, it's every two years. Um, but it's it's just a, a case of renewing it. Um, a different okay. systems have different uh, renewal periods, and ours is usually two okay, years. I can see that. That's interesting. <laughs> and then, I, and I then probably only had it two years. Yeah, and then hopefully uh, <laughs> you'll be able to get in on Hoopla. So just give me one moment. Now, can I ask you another question while you're in there instead of uh, messaging? Can you can you tell from that which email address I used? Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, you I don't have to. I mean, is it is it Hotmail or, or Gmail? That's all I need to know. Um, yeah. Give me one moment. I just have to no jump problem. in. My computer is being a little bit uh, loady. <laughs> I get it. They're great when they work. They have their temperamental moments. Regarding the favorites. Mm -hmm. there's, there's the little heart. If you can see that you can click if you want to add it to the favorites. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you add it to the favorites is that when you go to um, my hoopla and you look, you can see recently borrowed, recommended for you and uh, favorites. So it, it just makes it easier to keep track of ones that you're looking at, but you may not have borrowed yet or. And there's your binge pass. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Larry. So these are the binge passes. Um, Hoopla Magazines, Curiosity Stream for more viewing, and then Great Courses, which is a, a great compendium of 
uh, lectures on a, a huge amount of different topics. And when you get one, you get access to all of those titles for seven days. And it, when you borrow, it'll redirect you to um, the Great Courses Library, basically. And I have one more uh, little challenge before we move on to Canopy. If you've been browsing around and you found anything of interest, I encourage everyone to find one title and to actually borrow it and just go through the process of clicking borrow and adding it to your Hoopla library. If you're not seeing anything right now that you wanna borrow, that's totally fine too. But uh, if something has already caught your fancy, feel free to give it a borrow. And then if you want, start seeing what it's like to interact with whatever title you've chosen once you've borrowed it. And I'll just check in with you. If you want to type in the chat, that's totally fine. How are you doing uh, BB and Roland? How has it been going being on Hoopla? Jasper and Pamph. Good. Now, when you say chosen, that means you've um, favorited it or downloaded it or? You can do either. Borrowed, excellent. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready for Canopy. Yes, Canopy is so much fun. And as much as we did the browse titles, um, you can also, there is a big old search bar right at the top and you can, if you know, have an idea or a keyword that you're looking for, you can just search directly in there. And you'll notice that you can also change the format. So if I know I'm looking for something and I know it's an ebook, I can select ebook before I begin my search. I agree, that's a place I wanna visit. <laughs> that's a beautiful place I wanna visit as well. Oh, amazing, BB. Awesome. So that means that you've added something to your favorites list. So you haven't borrowed it yet, but you've made a little sort of like a wish list or a favorites list of things that you were interested in. So if you want to return to that, you don't have to search again. You can just go to my Hoopla and um, from there you can select your favorites and it should show you everything that you've liked, basically. Um yeah, definitely agree. I'm doing the same thing uh, where I'm jumping between uh, the Zoom call and then being on the screen. So I totally appreciate that. And again, this is just a sort of springboard. So if you, I, by all means, the point of today's session is to encourage you to explore these platforms more and see all the things that they have to offer. But just in the interest of time, if anyone has more questions about Hoopla, feel free to put them in the chat. I can answer any questions. Um, <laughs> But I will jump over to Larry because we are going to talk about Canopy, which is a, a, a different a different platform. Different, but um, it's a little similar, a little bit. Um, okay. So with Canopy, what is Canopy? It's free streaming movies, TV shows, and music that you can borrow, 15 titles per month. Now, you play credits. The play credits are used to play videos on Canopy, and each video is one credit, regardless of length. Um, unused play credits cannot roll over into the next month, so you gotta use your 15 in the month. And a play credit will be used even if, uh, as soon as you play at least five seconds of a video. Um, and then once the play credit is logged, you have three days to uh, watch the video as many times as you like, even if, uh, even if it's a new month, as long as you started in that same month. 
And the way that you get Canopy is the same way that you got Hoopla. You go to the App Store and you do a search for K-A-N-O-P-Y, Canopy. And then you'll look for it after it's downloaded and it looks like this with the K. And when you open it up, you're going to get started if it's your first time. And if it's uh, not your first time, you'll just log in. And when you want to uh, log in, it's gonna ask for your email address and password. I would advise not logging in with any of these. And then this is the, oh yep. This is the first thing you're gonna see is a newly added on your home screen. This is if you're using a device. Um, if you want to browse right around your device, lots of choices here. If you click on any of these, uh, you'll see um, items related to what you've chosen. Or you could search. And if you search, if you click the search, this is what it looks like on the right. You just um, do a search. It's at the top. There we go. At the top of the page, you can do a search for any particular movie, any particular director, actor. You can also keep track in Canopy of items that you like. Mm -hmm. A list of movies that you like. Yes, very, um, very similar to Hoopla. There is an, uh, an option you'll notice when you hover over titles to add to watch list. This isn't you borrowing them because Canopy deals in play credits, but this is you adding them to your list so that you can go and refer to them later. And the final one here is more at the bottom right. It just gives you a link to your settings and uh, membership information or Canopy Kids and the help is here as well. And Canopy is actually available on Libby. Now we spoke about this, about Libby in the last session last month. Um, if you are on Libby, this is what Libby looks like. And in, in Libby, if you click on uh, the home right here and get, um, it's under extras. You will see um, that you can have uh, access to Canopy right from Libby. Uh, but we're not gonna actually do that because we don't have a lot of time. We're just gonna concentrate on Canopy um, by itself. So now, if you like, take a few minutes to um, get that app from the app store if you don't already have it mm -hmm. and there could be an activity or two as well definitely and if you are um using browser i uh you can you can also access canopy through the browser which sometimes i like to do because i like to watch things on a bit of a larger screen but i have put a link in the chat to our digital collections page and if you scroll down you will find canopy um, if you've never had an account, you'll be prompted to add your library card and go through, basically. Um, but yes, if I, I assume Roland and BB will be using browser again. And Phyllis, maybe you'll be able to give it a try on your phone. Uh, yeah. But I, did it work, by the way, Phyllis? I'm just uh, sending a message now and... Um... I think, I, like I said, I was just saying that I just remembered that part about what number I was supposed to use, and yeah. I'm trying it now. <laughs> this is what Canopy looks like if you're looking at it on a computer. And the reason you want to sometimes look at it on a computer is because you just want to see what's out there. You don't necessarily want to watch it right away. You just mm -hmm. want to scroll. and. Uh... Did it work? Yes. Thank Yay! you. <laughs> like I said, I just, I just totally forgot that part. Like, you know, I, I, I did the old home phone number for that reason, because mm -hmm. I remember it. And it's like, mm -hmm. there I go. 
I'm making a note of it now. Yeah, good idea. My fail safe is just to always have the last four digits when I changed over to my cell phone. Um, I um, so on the front page, which uh, Larry is on right now, you'll notice Canopy is a little bit different in browsing. If you're just on the main page, it has, I call them carousels, where you can just sort of see there's lists like newly added movies. If you scroll down, there's a ton of other ones, popular right now, newly added documentaries. And these are ones you can scroll through, very similar to Netflix, if you've ever used that interface before, that gives you a pretty good sampling of some of the things that are popular right now and some of the collections they have. But through my activities, I also want us to try out a couple other ways of looking for titles. So I will, I will keep my, uh, I will, I'll share my screen when I get onto Canopy. Um, so my first challenge for everyone is to use the browse option, which looks a little bit different if you're on your browser, to um, browse by a category of interest. And let me get onto my Canopy so I can show everyone what that might look like. Of course, if you're on the app, and I know, uh, Phyllis, you might have to feel free to take the time to uh, download it. If you're on the app, the browse is at the bottom. If you are on a computer, browse is at the top. And if I hold my mouse over it, you'll see I'm given a lot of options, movies, documentaries, and then there's a further drop down menus, the arts, business, education, it goes on and on. So if you wanna look at this, feel free to click on something that interests you and follow the drop down menu to something that sounds most interesting to you. So I'm gonna go personally, just for fun, I'm gonna go to movies and I'm gonna go to world cinema because that's what, I'm, that's what I would like to look at. And I'll just give everyone a moment to try doing that as well. And if you wanna put in the chat what you've searched for, just for fun, Canopy will then show you uh, all the options that come with that World Cinema tag. Let me just get the chat open. This is a great question, Roland. So yes, um, if you are in a series, and this is uh, for any series, if you're watching multiple episodes, each episode does count as a view credit. So. Um, that's just something to be aware of when you are, uh, if you're interested in something that's a series. That's a good point to remember because people mm -hmm. think that um, one episode is not, uh, like one series is actually a credit, but it's uh, one episode is a credit. Yes. So Canopy does um, break down by video. And this is something that you'll notice if you look up, for example, something like the Great Courses. Um, so each video does count as a view credit. And this is similar on Hoopla as well. And this is why um, for certain things, something like the binge pass can be really useful if you're trying to look at multiple uh, series of something at once. So that's just something to keep in mind. But Canopy has a really robust selection for um, especially films as well. And you do renew your 15 credits at every, uh, the change of every month. I'm just curious to know what did people search for if they're comfortable with sharing? Is anyone looking at anything fun? Like, I'm so impressed with the choices. I mean, um, they got something for everyone. Mathematics. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is awesome. So keep looking through mathematics, Roland. Um, our next activity uh, which if you're looking at something of interest, I encourage everyone to go and find something that interests you and to add it to your watch list. So I'm on browser. It's a little bit different if you're on the app. If you are on the app, you would look at a title. And once you click on the title, I'll just hold up my phone for everybody. You'll notice that there's an option to, there's a little plus symbol you can add to your watch list. 
But for everyone that's on browser, which I know two of you are, if you just hover your mouse over the title, you see that there's an option to click my list. So I don't know if you found anything of interest in the mathematics uh, section, Roland, but feel free to add something to your watch list. And if I wanted to go review my watch list, oh, awesome, BB. And don't worry, we'll still be here to, uh, if, if having to come back to the chat to report is too much, don't even worry, it's just for fun. Um, but I hope you're finding a lot of good stuff in comedy. Uh, if I wanted to review my watch list, you'll notice at the top of Canopy, if you're on browser, you'll see your name. And this is a, what's a little bit different from being on the app. If you're on the app, at the bottom, one of the little icons says uh, my list, which is right at the bottom there. But if you are on uh, Canopy on your browser, you'll notice I see my name. I see for me, it's Georgina. I can hover my mouse over that and I can click on my watch list. And this will take me to all the things that I have personally favorited. Just like when we were on my Hoopla, it's quite similar. Um, let's see what another activity we have. Okay, this is just something if you want, I would like everyone to try and find the staff's, the staff picks catalog. Where do you go for staff picks? This is just a bit of a scavenger hunt to get comfortable finding different things on Canopy. It's pretty easy. We don't hide it. Uh, you don't no. have to click like 10 times to find it. It's <laughs> just, just think if you're if you're in, in the middle of browsing and you, you want to see what the staff is looking at, and mm -hmm. where, where would you go? So just quickly, um, with respect to this canopy, which I haven't downloaded yet, so I'm not uh, really participating at this point. Yeah. But, um, do, I, do I understand it that this has something to do with, uh, you have, would you say 15 credits? Yes. At the beginning of a month or something like that? Yes. And yes. so each time you view something you're using, does it use like one credit per, yes. per view or like? Yes. Um, yes. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So For three days. You, use something. you can, you, okay. you can watch okay. that okay. same movie or same TV show for three days, and it's still one credit. Mm -hmm. And the nice okay, thing, so as long as you, as long as you're watching the same thing, it's one. Oh yeah, the same credit. Yes, exactly. Okay. And the nice thing about Hoopla and Canopy, um, and all of our digital collections, really, is when you're online, you usually have automatic return. So unlike a physical book, which you have to bring back to the library, when that resource is no longer uh, loaned to you, it'll just return to the collection. Especially, that's something you'll notice on Hoopla. Here you just click play and you'll notice that your your um, your credit counter will go down. So then What's... another question, just with respect to the two different uh, uh, platforms, mm -hmm. what is the difference between the two? What is the difference between Hoopla and Canopy? The difference is definitely the selection. Just like you have multiple streaming services, uh, Hoopla also has a different okay. variety of resources available. So if you're searching through our catalog, a lot of the time you might notice something that says check out or borrow on Hoopla. Um, and it has those things like music and eBooks. So it's just a difference of selection, but um, <laughs> Canopy is uh, acquired by Overdrive, so a lot more video is going to be available on Canopy, but they're both just useful okay. to have because it just gives you more access. It's sort of like the library has a bunch of streaming platforms for you that you can access different stuff with, just like how you can't get things on Netflix on Crave. Yeah, so, can you, right, yeah. yeah can you sort can of cross-populate. <laughs> Canopy has seems to have a lot of things that you don't find on regular... Um, Netflix, you know, it's a lot of interesting, unusual things that not mainstream, um, as well as there, there's, there is mainstream, but uh, there's a lot of interesting new things as well. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that if I wanted to find something that, uh, because I only have Netflix and my regular Rogers, so if I want to find something that's on some other plat other uh, viewing platform that I don't have access to, I might be able to check these services and see if it's available there. Exactly. Okay. And and I will, I'm just going to, I'm going to jump away from Canopy. These apps are great to have alone, but at the same time, we have our Ajax library catalog. So through our catalog, 
um, which I'm just going to pull up right now and I will link in the chat. Um, in our catalog, which looks like this, if you were to search different things, you'll also get the options to use that service to watch um, to watch that content. So for example, I know we have great courses available on both. So you might get one that says watch on Canopy, watch on Hoopla, and then you can sort of make a decision of which uh, platform you want to use. So especially with Hoopla and Canopy, I find it's good to have both because then it just lets you access more of our holdings within the library. Gotcha. And I, yeah. But I guess then too, if you're, going to, if you're going to use Canopy, you should realize that you only have your 15 credits. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 15 okay. on Canopy, 15 on Hoopla. So that's mm -hmm. 30 credits a month, mm -hmm. one per day. Oh, so both oh. platforms have, have credits. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then another thing about okay. watching movies on your device is that if you have Apple TV or Google TV, you just start watching on here and you press a button and automatically you're watching the movie, your Canopy movie on the big screen. On your TV. Okay. If you have that, if you have Thank that you. set up at your home, it's kind of nice. Thank you. No problem. And um, so... Do we do anything else virtually? Just wanted to quickly mention. Um, absolutely. Yes, we do. Stay connected every Thursday where you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with one of us uh, from uh, asking questions about Canopy, asking questions about email, eBooks, internet safety, anything. Uh, related to internet. We do that once a week on Thursdays. And uh, you, you can sign up for that if, if you want more detailed um, answers to questions about like how to use how to use email, how to use social media. And then we have uh, lots of other programs online like the um, Spanish Seniors English Conversation Circle, Tam Durham Tamil, uh, Health and Wellness, Armchair travel, meditation, we have so many things. And I just wanted to mention that uh, uh, as well. We're going to be doing different topics each month here on Tech Talk. And um, as usual, if you have anything that you see on our website that you want to know more about, um, send us an email. Uh, I'll put mine in the chat. Um, And we really appreciate any feedback um, in the chat or in an email. Um, always appreciated. And um, oh, it's three o'clock already, Mike. I'm that went fast. That means we were having fun, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I hope at least everyone feels a little, little bit more comfortable, like they know what these platforms are. And if you're browsing through the catalog, you'll know what it means when it says check out on Hoopla and you'll think I can do that. Um, but Larry and I are always here if you have uh, questions. And if you have any problems with your card, just give us a call at the library. Yeah, I finally figured out my issue. <laughs> okay. And um, yeah, that was it. So we, I, I want to thank you. We want to thank you again for coming out to this and um, very much appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you next month when we'll do the same with a different online topic. And it will be posted on our website. Let me just take a quick peek and see what we're doing next next month. It is going to be oh about um, online magazines and newspapers and other things. So yes, this is very informative. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. And um, yeah, I. Thank you very much. We will see you next month, hopefully. 
and I uh, hope you have a, a safe month. And uh, Georgina, anything else? That, uh... nope, that's everything for me. If you have, I definitely encourage everyone to play around with these apps or on the browser more on their own, just so that you can get really comfortable. I know in terms of, um, we can't wait for these sessions to be in person, which again, might be a little bit down the road where everyone could have access and we can just come point. I know it can be a bit tricky having to look at a screen and then you're trying to look on your browser or look at a phone and then look at what we're doing at the same time. So in a perfect world, we hope that these sessions will be in person uh, eventually when it's safe. So we encourage everyone to just keep interacting with these apps on your own so that you can feel comfortable with them. Um, and if you have any I questions- I quite frankly don't mind them being online because I've been able to attend this way. I'm, I'm one that if they go in person, I may or may not be able to get there. So I've appreciated having them online. Well, that's good to know. I've done so much more with the library online than I have in person. That's exactly. good it's to a, know. It's a dilemma. Like for online can be a great thing for accessibility and sometimes, imp you know, ha not having to jump between screens can be really useful as well. But and it's not <laughs> that I'm disabled or anything. It's just that I'm lazy and I don't get out of the house. <laughs> That's all it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know? Yeah, <laughs> totally. So I have to um, set an actual appointment to get out. So. So uh, that's why I think everyone should just, if you feel comfortable, keep uh, using keep using the the platforms because those, they have a lot to offer you uh, on there for sure. So, and if you have any questions in the meantime before our next session, uh, you can email Larry or I for sure. Thank you again, both of you. Yeah, thank you so much for coming, everyone. You're very welcome. Have a great month. You too. Take care. Bye, Phyllis. Bye-bye.